the 90s. A simpler time. The era of Seinfeld, the Super Nintendo, Michael Jordan, Clueless. But hidden under all of this pop culture was a musical movement which would have a massive impact on culture for decades to come. Ready to stand up! 90s rock, a generation of music led by the rebellious spirit of grunge and alternative, pop punk's mainstreamification of a decades old genre, and the rise of the nihilistic spirit of new metal. I remember very, very clearly like that divide between 80s music and 90s music and Nirvana was the huge thing. Like all of a sudden Nirvana came on the scene and kids had no idea what to do. Especially my age, we're like, well, well now what? You know, we went from new kids on the block to that. Whew. This culture shock could be felt through events like Lollapalooza and Woodstock, where hundreds of thousands of teenagers and young adults flocked to see the bands that had reshaped their way of life. The messages being spread by the rock of the 90s saw the world in a much more cynical light than the music which predated it. Bands like Nirvana, Soundgarden, and Pearl Jam led the grunge and alternative movement with songs that invoked feelings of depression, social alienation, and anger towards social prejudices prominent in society. On the other hand, the 90s saw a rise in pop punk, a dietized version of the punk rock which had been around since the mid-70s. Bands like Green Day, Blink-182, and The Offspring popularized the genre with their messages of adolescent heartbreak and rebellion. Popular new metal bands like Rage Against the Machine, Korn, and the Deftones, on the other hand, featured poignant social and political criticism in their messages. 90s rock uh, and their messages through their lyrics were so much more potent than they were in the 80s. 80s was very, to use one of my favorite words, the lyrics were very pedantic. It was just like everything was right there. Like it was just like, this is what it is, this, but there was no deeper meaning. While these subgenres may have led to a huge culture shift within the 90s, their impact continued to be felt into the following decades, with grunge leading to the post-grunge genre, as well as pop punk and new metal seeing continued success into the 2000s, with bands like Fall Out Boy and System of a Down, respectively. Whether you love the slow, passionate ballads of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, the heavy, funky, bass-driven riffs of Primus, or the loud, distortion-filled power of Nirvana, 90s rock is sure to have something for everyone to enjoy. 90s rock is still popular now because I think of what the aforementioned messages. I think that's a huge part, like, you know, the way that you, your age group interprets lyrics. And, you know, this was one of those first instances where, like, you could really get a deeper meaning from the lyrics. In my lifetime, it was one of the first instances where you get a deeper meaning from the lyrics. Music lets people express their emotions. Music allows people to let loose and have fun. Music drives people to flock to a scorching hot tarmac in central New York and set things on fire while Flea slaps his bass butt naked. Music brings people together. And it's the unmatched unification of 90s rock which has allowed it to persist through the decades and continue to bring people together with its memorable melodies and powerful messages.